Hey, do you want to know a secret on how to mix products and glitter without making a mess or throwing it away? In this video, I will show you how. I'm Anastasia. In this video, I will review the new product called Pottle. It's a four-piece easy feel beauty blending tool. Let's take a look what's inside. There is a crystal wand, we are going to use it for mixing the products. And then we have the bottle itself, which consists of few parts. First of all, it's the glass pot itself with the balls in it, which will help us to mix the products better. Then we have the cap and the tall chrome full hand twist to apply gel or polish. Crystal wand gonna be helpful for mixing glitter. Now I'm going to create my own gel. I always wanted the perfect nude color with slight glitter in it, but I haven't found such color yet. So I'm going to create it by myself. First I add gel and then chrome powder. You can use glitter or anything you want, but with chrome powder you will get a super fine tiny particles and you will never have to worry that the glitter is too big. So I am mixing it with the nude. If you would like to know my recipe, I will leave the name of all products under the video. Now make sure you mix it really well until you get an even consistency and even glitterness. Once you're happy with the result, we can use the product. Puddle will work great with gels from thin to medium consistency. My personal preference is medium consistency as we can use it for building the structure as well as apply it in style of builder in the bottle gel. Once you mix the color that you like, we can use it. Now let's try something else. I created my perfect nude, but also we can create the beautiful jelly colors. For example, now I am using clear gel and adding a couple drops of a stained glass paint. Make sure you're using the one that is solvent-based, not the water-based. And do not add too much, as the gel might not cure if you add too much of this paint. Now let's add some chrome powder as well. The one I am using shifts between golden and green, and I think it will look pretty cool with the magenta. Or you can use it without glitter, it is really up to you. And yes, the magic wand is very comfortable to use because it's smooth and super easy to clean. If you are not pink kind of girl, that's fine because you can mix any colors that you like. For example, this bottle green I think will work great as well. As you mix it with clear, just make sure you mix it evenly until you get a nice color. And I think I am not going to add glitter in this one because it looks great without it. This is how my mixture of magenta and glitter looks like. Now, after you mix the color, you want to add this ball into it and watch how it rounds and the product is ready to use. So I'm closing the cap and adding the hand twist. Brush applicator is interchangeable, so you do not need to worry if some glitter will get stuck in it. Now let's apply it on the tip. I take the brush and simply apply it. As I added pretty much of chrome powder, we have the beautiful glitter color and it is transparent as I apply a super thin layer. You can apply it like this, like you normally apply any color, or you can also do it in builder in the bottle style. I think one coat will be enough, then we cure it and the color is ready. Let's try it in a pot. This time I will be using a regular gel brush and apply it on the nail. I have a color underneath as I just wanted to show you this example, but as this is the regular hard builder gel, you can use it how you usually use your gel on tips, on forms, it is really up to you. Then I simply stretch it all the way down. It's pretty cool and you know what? It looks so genius and so simple and I personally thought about this a while ago. Like, I really wish that the gel I'm using, it will be possible to use it with a brush and oh my god, somebody finally came with this brilliant idea. 
I love it and definitely going to use it with my Builder gels. Glass base holds 20 milliliters of any liquid material of your choice. Then we cure it and the nail is ready. When you're done, simply close the pot and that's it. I like this product and definitely going to use it. Let me guys know what do you think? Have you ever tried the bottle? And when you get it, what color would you like to create for yourself first? Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this satisfying mixing gel process, I will give you some more. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials every week. Goodbye!